Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Sierra. Today's video is sponsored by a brand called Topic, and Topic is actually pretty cool. I've been using this for a couple months now, and I really like it. What it is, is a product that helps fill in spots like this. So when I pull my hair back, my baby hairs don't go all the way back with my hair and I kind of have a little bit of a thinned area right here. So what I use is this to fill it in to make it look more natural and full. It also helps if you have thinning hair on your scalp or even when you pull your hair back up like this, you can see right here that it doesn't I mean, it leaves like my scalp kind of looking open there <laughs> and it's actually really white. So I can't wait to fill that in. I'm going to show you guys what I like about this product and how to use it. So if you guys want to see what I think about Topics hair building fibers, just keep watching. So this is the product here, and these are the Topic Hair Building Fibers. I have the shade black, but they do have a huge range of shades. I mean, they even have gray and whites, and then like dark brown and blonde and dirty blonde and you know some other shades like that. So you can check it out and see if they have the right color for you. But I do have black hair, so I'll be using the black color today. And then when you wanna use it, you just take off this lid right here. You just kinda tap it and then the product comes out and then there's the powder right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys how to use the product first and then I'll go into more detail about what I like about it. There's two methods you can use the topic hair building fibers to fill in thinned out areas of your hair. I'll be showing you which methods I prefer to fill in my front hairline as well as my scalp peeking through for my updo. This is the packaging that the fibers come in. There are four different sizes ranging from a travel size all the way up to a giant size. I have the medium one which comes with 12 grams of product. But you just twist the lid off and you can see that the top of the bottle has a bunch of small holes. You just flip the bottle over and start shaking it on top of where you want the fibers to cover. Before you start this process, make sure that your hair is completely dry and already styled. Just keep shaking the bottle until the area is completely covered and once it is, lightly pat where you applied the fibers to evenly help disperse them around. This is what it looks like after filling it in. It honestly looks really natural and you wouldn't even be able to really tell if I didn't show you. The second method you can use to apply the fibers is with the Topic Spray Application Tool. You just pop off the shaker top on the bottle and then the application tool easily screws on allowing a fine mist type of spray. And then you can instead spray the area you want filled in. Now, I honestly prefer the shaker method to fill in larger areas such as this one, but when it comes to my front hairline, I find this tool works significantly better. It just allows for an easier and more precise application. Another thing I really like about these fibers are that they are a great quick fix when it comes to root touch-ups. My natural hair color is dark brown and you can kind of see that color peeking through on my roots. By applying the fibers on my roots, it makes them look black and as if I don't have a root grow out. This is where the spray applicator really comes in handy. I prefer using it on my front hairline for a more precise application. I'm also using the hairline optimizer, which not only protects my face from any powder fallout, but also allows for a more natural hairline type of look. This is the Topic Fiber Hold Hairspray. It's not required, but it does help the fibers last longer and kind of just give them a good lock in place. You just spray over the areas that you applied the fibers a couple times and you don't need to spray it too much. A little really does go a long way. So there's ways you guys can use the Topic Hair Building Fibers. I honestly prefer to use the method with the applicator. I just think it's easier to use, especially when you're trying to get in precise areas like here on your um, hairline. If you're just gonna use it on the back right here or even on the top of your hair, I think that you probably won't really need the applicator, but I just prefer to use this. I also think it helps save the actual powder inside when you're shaking it, more powder comes out, and when you're using this, less powder comes out, so it's just easier to savor the product when you use it this way. Now I know it's called hair building fibers, but I don't want you guys to get that confused. It's not a product that's gonna help your hair grow and it's not going to make it not grow either. It's more of a camouflage method for just like dispersed areas of your hair. So think of it like 
makeup for your hair. And it's not gonna last forever. This is just a temporary fix. So as soon as you wash out your hair, it's gonna wash away and go back to what it looked like before. I have been using the hair building fibers for a couple of months now, and I have tried it in several different weather conditions. I do live in Oregon, so it rains a lot here, and it holds up pretty well in the rain, especially if you use the Fiber Hold hairspray. That locks it in place pretty good. Even regular hairspray helps a little bit too. I haven't really had it to like where it dripped or anything like that when I was in the rain. If it is raining really, really hard, then you're probably gonna have a little bit of an issue maybe. But other than that, it holds up pretty well. If it's just like sprinkling and it gets on your hair, it's gonna be fine. Um, it lasts a good while too. I wash my hair about like every two days and it lasts the entire time that I haven't washed my hair. I have noticed that it does transfer a little bit. So if you do touch your hair, you are gonna get a little bit on your fingers, even after, you know, doing the hairspray. And you might get a little bit on your sheets too if you're sleeping without like a headband in or something like that. But overall, I think it's a pretty good fix if you are just looking for ways to fill in those hairs but yeah i think it turned out pretty good if you guys have any questions definitely let me know down in the comments and i'll do my best to answer them also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and press the subscribe button down below i would really love to have you as part of our youtube family and you can turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye